Hey there out in TV land. Solid Signal sent me a new toy. It's a set of bias lighting. See this, uh, this thing is really cool. It looks in a lot of ways, the way it was sent, it looks like a, an old open reel cassette. And I kind of wonder if that's the way it was packaged, like they had a few left over. There's a lot of articles about why backlighting and bias lighting is important. And I've even written a few of them, but this particular unit is neat because of the way that it's designed. It's designed that you can cut it to length. You can only make one cut. You can't cut it and put it back together, but you can cut it to the length that you want, which is kind of cool. And I thought that I would explain how that's even possible. I mean, you know, hey, wonders of the modern world, and I totally get that, but uh, you know, this is pretty neat, and I thought that I would explain the very basic electrical theory that makes it possible. Let's take a look. This is the bias light itself. Really nice compact packaging, and the USB plug is designed to plug into the TV so you don't even have to plug it into the wall. When you do plug it in, you get this strip of lights, which is really cool. But the question is, does it really work when you cut it? So I unplugged it, and now live on video, I'm going to cut it. The trick is you have to cut across these copper dots. There's even a little picture of a scissors to help you there. Once you do, all you have to do is plug it back in, and as you can see, it works. This still doesn't explain why it works, and that's what this video is about. Now, this is the way you'd think this kind of thing would be wired. I'm using old school pictures of light bulbs, so it makes it easier. This is called series wiring. With series wiring, this is the easiest way to wire something, uh, and it's the way that you would think it would actually work. This is the way that old Christmas lights used to work, if you recall. Plug them in, and they turn on, all at the same time, or at least very close to the same time, so close you can't tell the difference. But what if one breaks? The problem with series lighting is that if one bulb blows, that isn't it. You lose every bulb that comes after it in the wiring scheme. In fact, as anyone who's ever tried to deal with old Christmas lights know, more often you lose all the lights just because one blows. The solution is called parallel wiring. With parallel wiring, you're using more copper, but you're creating a different circuit that goes to every single bulb. Using parallel wiring is more expensive. It takes more engineering, but it makes the whole design a whole lot more flexible. If one bulb blows in a parallel wiring scheme, it doesn't affect the bulbs before it or after it. It just, that bulb goes out and that's it. More importantly for what we're talking about, if you wire everything just right, you can even take some of the bulbs out of the equation and the other stuff still works. This takes even more engineering, but it's obviously incredibly valuable for something like a bias light that you want to cut to size. A bias light setup from Solid Signal is incredibly valuable and it's a great, great addition to your home theater system. They're available now and I urge everyone to get one, especially if you're a little bit older than 30 like I am, because it's going to really cut down on that eye strain. It's worth it. Get one now. Get two. Get one as a gift.